All right, guys, welcome back. Long time no see. Uh, I've started a new career. We had COVID-19, a whole bunch of craps. So I haven't been able to make very many videos. I haven't been able to make any videos, but I've got a good one for you today. It is a nine to one un -un project that I've been working on and it's pretty cool. So here's my project. It is a nine to one that is made inside of epoxy. It makes it waterproof for the most part, still around the SO239, you might get a little moisture, but the whole thing is pretty much waterproof. And I wanna show you guys how I made it. So let's go. Okay, for the actual guts of this project, these are the things that you're gonna need. This is 18 gauge wire. I like using three different colors because it makes it easier to wire up. Uh, about two and a half feet, I like holding the end in my hand and I'll pull it up to my armpit and that usually gives me enough wire for what I need to wrap that. This is a T130-2 toroid core. I buy them in packs of four off Amazon. If I was gonna make a bunch of these, I'd probably find somewhere else or more in bulk so they'd be cheaper, but uh, SO239 connector. I like using these, they're pretty diverse in the different projects I've done. And a couple bolts, washers, and nuts. Now, whenever you wire this up, I'll put the diagram right here. You've got to have all three wires in order the entire time you wrap it. This wire's not preferable. I've used it before. I've already got one wrapped, but I will show you in a minute. But anyway, you want to leave about oh five inches and then just start wrapping, ensuring that the orders the colors red yellow white it stays in that order every time you wrap it here is the wrapped core uh, the far right one is the ground wire the far left one which it doesn't matter which is which at this point but just say this one is the ground and this one will go for the long wire and the red is in the middle so we wrap each one of the colors with one of the red ones you want to make sure that on your core that the inside has nine wraps so one two three four five six seven eight nine for this but let's go over to the table and i will get all this soldered up and i'm going to do it through a fast forward because i don't want you guys to see how bad my soldering is
is the unknown. Just in case you didn't have a real good look of the wiring. I'll put a diagram in there, but pretty simple. This is the silicone mold that I found on Amazon. It's pretty deep, but that won't matter a whole lot because I don't have to fill the thing all the way up. But I'm just going to set that guy inside there and make sure that nothing is touching the edges and everything looks pretty center. About right like that. Here is the epoxy that I found on Amazon. I've used it a couple times. It works pretty good. Uh, it's a two-part that you got to mix together beforehand. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for this. But pretty much I just get a little cup and stir it up for about five minutes with the ratios of each that it calls for. So it was two parts resin and one part activator on this. And I'm using all this plastic crap to mix it up because I couldn't find anything else. So I'm going to stir this up and make sure there's no air bubbles in it and uh, go at it for about five minutes here. Okay, I've got it all nice and mixed up. I kind of wish I would have not poured it in such a big bowl because now I've got to pour it inside of this and not get it everywhere. Anyway, whenever you're pouring it, you want to make sure that you pour it inside. you got to stop as soon as you get on top of this SO239 connector here. And you don't want to get any higher. And you want to make sure that you don't get any on the threads of anything. So let's see if I can do this without making a giant mess. I'm going to make a giant mess. And it is right above it. I'm going to put just a hair more. And I'm going to call that good right there. All right, now that I've got it in there, I pretty much, uh, this stuff, there's a few bubbles on the surface, they'll pop, but I'm pretty much going to let this set for a couple days, and we'll see the result. So you'll see it here in just a second. It's going to take me a couple days. All right, here we are about three days later, and this thing is ready to come out of the mold, so... I kind of messed with it the day before yesterday and it wasn't quite ready so it might be disformed just a hair but we'll see came out actually pretty nice so let's go try it out alrighty I got this guy hooked up to my random random not so random uh, long wire I've got two counterpoise wires on it and a long wire that goes up into the trees over there. It is 84 feet long. But let's go inside, put it on the analyzer, and see what kind of SWR this thing's showing. Okay, I got you inside on the analyzer. We'll start on 80 meters, which you can already see that the SWR is pretty high. Uh, my tuner could probably tune it, but it's not the best uh, there are certain links that you can google of what your 
random wire, long wire. There are, I don't know, maybe 10 lengths that are about the best to use. And 84 is just a little short for 80 meters, but I wanted to show it to you. A longer wire would probably work quite a bit better, but uh, let's just run through these real quick. See, 80 meters on an 84 foot long wire is pretty high throughout the band. Let's hop over to uh, 40 meters here. Let's see. That's quite a bit better there. 2.2. It any radio or tuner should be able to handle this quite a bit say it's right about two for the whole band length and let's go to let me see oh it'll be on this one as well we'll go to 30 meters which I never have really used is a little high over the length of the band there but still your tuner will be able to handle it and this is a compromised antenna let's hop over to 20 meters twenty meters is showing pretty good throughout the whole band that's pretty good and we'll uh, go up to 15 meters It is looking pretty good across 15 meters to uh, jump up to uh, 10 meters and that would be the last one. We'll actually just hop on the radio and look at it, see what it sounds like. Oh, too far. And it's well within range of anything my 7300 could tune by itself, but my IT100 tuner would be able to handle up to 10 to 1, I believe, which isn't quite the best, but, I mean, it'll work. The other bands are pretty acceptable, though, except 80. That wire's a little short for that, but uh, let's throw it on the radio and see what it sounds like. Okay, got you on the ICOM 7300. The tuner is not on at the moment. We can go ahead and hop over to the SWR and do a little test here. Say so it is pretty good in this portion of the band. It's about the same on 40 meters all the way through. Uh, Say it's actually looking pretty good on 40 meters tonight. Let's uh, find an empty spot here. And go ahead and tune up.
The tuner is handling, 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 Jesus, handling it pretty well. Uh, I've used this antenna quite a bit here at the house, and it really seems to work pretty good for a compromised antenna. Some FT8 signals. But for a long wire antenna, it gets the job done. Yes, there are plenty of better antennas out there than just a long wire with a 9 to 1. But uh, this is a fun little project to do. And yeah, that's about it. Whiskey Niner X ray, Alpha X ray. Whiskey Niner X ray, Alpha X ray. Whiskey Niner X ray, Alpha X ray. Copy of the 5 and 8. You are 5 and 8 as well here in Southern Illinois. Appreciate the park. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and playing a little radio. I hope you guys liked the project. If you did, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, comment. Uh, I have tested the temperature on this. I know somebody might ask about that. I did put my multimeter. It's got a little temperature gauge on it and I can't remember the exact number but outside of being a little warm it didn't get hot at all. Uh, if I was going to use more than 100 watts I'd probably use a bigger core, some bigger wires and I don't know how that would work temperature wise but maybe one of you guys can make one of these and let us all know uh yeah other than that thanks for coming thanks for stopping by give me a like give me a sh share subscribe and seven three